what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which 9 to the square root of x is equal to the square root of 27 to the x well let's start with the left hand side 9 is a perfect squared which means it can be written as 3 squared and it is raised to the square root of x. So I'm going to be raising this to the square root of x. This is equal to the right hand side. We have the square root of 27 to the x. Well, this can be written as 27 to the x or raised to the power of half. Because according to indices, a square root is a power of half very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says for example when i have a to the m and this is raised to the n this is the same as a to the m times n that means the powers multiply so which results to m times n is mn now let's apply this to what we have both on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So this becomes 3 to the 2 times the square root of x gives 2 root x. This is equal to, now the right hand side we have 27 to the x times 1 all over 2 is x all over 2. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to simplify 27. So we have on the left, we have 3 to the 2 root x to be equal to. Now, on the right hand side, 27 is same as 3 to the 3. Very good. And this is raised to the x over 2. So I'm going to be raising this to the x over 2. Now, let's apply this law of indices one more time here. So on the left, we have 3 to the 2 root x. This is equal to, on the right, we have 3 to the 3 times x over 2 gives 3x all over 2. Very good. Now, notice that the base on the left and the base on the right are the same. And if they are the same, all we have to do will be for us to equate powers. Now, the power on the left is 2 root x. This is equal to the power on the right is 3x all over 2. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to cross multiply. So, cross multiplying means 2 multiplies 2 root x this is equal to well i can put over 1 here so 3x times 1 is 3x very good so 2 times 2 root x is 4 root x this is equal to 3x now our next step will be for us to remove this square root and we do that by taking the square of both sides very good now, taking the square of both sides, this expression is same as 4 squared times the square root of x squared. Very good. According to indices, we separate them. This is equal to, we do the same thing here. This is 3 squared times x squared. Very good. Now, 4 squared is 16 times now, this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind x to be equal to 3 squared is 9 times x squared. Very good. So, 16 times x is 16x. This is equal to 9 times x squared is 9x squared. Good. Now, I can decide to move 9x squared to the left-hand side so that we have 16x. As 9x squared crosses to the left, becomes minus 9x squared. 
and this is equal to zero. Now notice that x is common. So I can factor out x, open bracket. Now 16x divided by x, that's 16, minus 9x squared divided by x, that's 9x. And this is equal to zero. Now we have two cases here. We have x to be equal to zero. And then we have 16 minus 9x to also be equal to zero. So we can see that we've got one value for x, which is x is equal to zero. Now to get the other value for x, I can decide to move 16 to the right so that I have negative 9x remaining on the left equal to as 16 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 16. And now dividing both sides by negative 9, you see that negative 9 cancels out, leaving x to be equal to, now negative cancels out, we have 16 all over 9. Very good. So these are two values of x. But in among these two values of x, which one is going to be our real solutions? Which is the real solution for this question? Let's check. So let's check. Now on checking, we know that one value for x is 0. So let's check that. If what we have on the left will be equal to what we have on the right. So the left, we have 9 to the square root of x. Remember, x is 0. So this is equal to the square root of 27 to the x, and x is 0. So this will be 9 to the, the square root of 0 is 0. This is equal to the square root of 27 to the 0 is 1. And we all know from indices that whatever is raised to 0 is 1. So 9 to the 0 gives 1. And this is equal to the square root of 1 is also 1. So this is a tick. So x equal to 0 is a solution. Now what about when x is equal to 16 all over 9 from what we've got from our second value for x. Now let's check that. This is 9 to the square root of x. x is 16 over 9. This is equal to the right hand side we have the square root of 27 to the x. x is 16 all over 9. Very good. Now on the left, we have 9 to the, now the square root of 16, that is 4, all over, the square root of 9 is 3. This is equal to, the right hand side, I'll be applying indices here. So this will be 27 to the 16 over 9. Now remember, square root means a power of 1 over 2. Very good. So on the left hand side, this will be, 9 is same as 3 squared, and it is raised to the 4 all over 3. This is equal to, this is 27, so I'm going to write 27 to the 16 over 9, and this is raised to the 1 over 2. Very good. So now applying the law of indices by multiplying the powers, we have 3 to the 2 times 4 over 3, right? Cool. Now this is equal to the right hand side we have 27 to the 16 over 9 times 1 over 2. Very good. Now let's simplify. This will be 3 to the 2 times 4. That is 8, right? All over 3. Now on the right hand side we have 27 to the 2 divided by 2, 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we have 8 all over 9. Good. Now we can write this as 3 to the 3. So we have 3 to the 8 over 3 on the left. This is equal to, on the right, this is 3 to the 3, which is 27. And this is raised to the 8 over 9. Now we have 3 to the 8 over 3 on the left. To be equal to 3, apply the law of indices. This 3 inside, which is a power, multiplies the power outside, 8 over 9. Very good. 
So on the left, we have 3 to the 8 over 3 to be equal to 3 to the 3 divided by 3, 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we also have 1 times 8 is 8 all over 3 on that. So you see that what we have on the left is also equal to what we have on the right. So x is equal to 0 and it is also equal to 16 all over 9. Very good. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.